right good morning from pinkney's green maidenhead yes i've just made it um for the last of the steam engines pulling in to carter steam fair their last ever fair at pinkney's green uh, if you've seen the news then you'll know that they're selling up at the end of the year but this is the last steam engine pulling in um, i'm a bit late i should have been here 20 minutes ago or something but they do this uh, road run i think that's the last of the uh, wagons over there but yeah i've got the drone with me as well so i've got to walk down here and film them pulling in i think most of them are pulled in already but yeah very very sad news came out only a few days ago literally just after i uploaded that last vlog from carters in reading uh that joby carter is unfortunately selling up um due to a lot of reasons really covid and the brexit and can't get the staff and the cost of doing it as well and they can't get a permanent ground and she she can't park a van <laughs> you're on the telly again we'll see you later as well on the ride she's the um owner and operator of the uh the jets yeah yeah very very sad news she said she cried when i uploaded that video then yeah you're on it you're I'm on, on it. it hello guys oh, yeah, you're all right. yeah we're all good yeah it's very a bit sad. emotional but we're gonna enjoy all the season yeah so what i found out was you don't actually well carters don't actually own your no, ride no, we own the jets the dobbies the side stalls and uh, the boat ride yeah and that's all of ours so we don't know what we're gonna do yet but Aww. you know it's all the fun of the fair isn't yeah it? i'm sure there'll be someone that will want to hire your ride yeah. out for their we're going to do a few bits locally to own maybe we'll so see where, watch this space. Where, where are you from we're from near loughborough so, loughborough yeah. oh there you go yeah. then so if you're in the loughborough yeah. area I'm sure we'll get, we're not thinking about it yet though, we're just going to enjoy it and see what happens. Yeah, so. it's okay. it would be great, I mean, with a lot of people have been saying it would be great if they could get a permanent ground. Yeah, that's what we're it looking for. It has to be indoors. Yeah, it Something does, indoors. under a big building with a cafe and all Yeah, and like Bob, Folly so. Farm, that yeah, sort of thing, yeah. with a few other rides, get, you can get the um, the little ferris wheel yeah, out. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, all yeah, of the, it, but we'll all be good, won't we? Yeah, right, well, we'll see you in a bit, I'll go get some more footage. Jason? Yes. Yeah, it's it's very sad. Um, it's just it's just the cost. People don't realise. I come and film these vlogs, uh, not just carters, any travelling uh, fair, the showman and that. People don't realise the cost of putting the fares on, uh, the, the the cost of the fuel and the labour and everything else as well. I don't know. I'm gonna go get around there. I think I have to walk through the fair. Um, it's 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 hard work. It really is hard work for them. To set everything up and like get the grounds and get the staff and and everything and and you know what i've done in the past sort of th two or three years coming and filming these is promotion you know it's to show you guys what they've got and what it's all about um uh, oh there's wayne over there who runs a skid but yeah what they're actually doing now is joby's doing like a tour around um i don't think i'll be doing that um i'll just be here f for a while uh, this will be the part of the fair uh, of the vlog obviously i'll be coming later on and showing you what it's like they don't actually start the fair until 12 so they're just setting up everything now um it is really sad please come and promote these fairs by coming and attending them not just carters but all traveling showmen all need the support uh they are here at Pickney's Green near Maidenhead until Monday. I'll get this vlog up as soon as I can, obviously. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best to try and get it up. Obviously, I'm coming back later on this evening. There's free fireworks tonight as well. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just news that we didn't want to hear. And obviously the people of the family of Carters, and they, you know, they don't want to hear this sort of stuff that is coming to an end. Hopefully they can find a permanent ground, but this is the this is the last one pulling in now. There's Joby. I've got my drone as well, like I said. They're doing a live video, so here it is. Look at all these people stood here watching. There's the man. <laughs> so this is the last one pulling in now. All right, Matt, you're all right. Hey, how are we doing? You've got no hands free. Hey, all right, I have. How are you? All right, mate. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah, so sad. Yeah, he's doing his live video. But that's it. And then I think they've got a wagon pulling in as well over here. Look at the people all come and turning out. This is what it's all about. You know, it's it's been going for well since the seventies, really. Yeah, I think that might be it for the last for the last one. Yeah, waiting for the there's a couple of wagons down there waiting to come in. But I'll show you the ground. I'll get the drone up, get some drone footage. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you're all right. Vlog on vlog. Cameras on cameras. Cameras on cameras. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> How's your day going? Not too bad. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Yeah, Matt. you too. For the last time, I probably. Know. Sad. Very sad. Are you still alive, by the way? Yes, we are. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, Andy, uh, Coasty Crazy. I've been one of the biggest supporters of cars of the past Absolutely. two or three years. Awesome YouTube channel. Go yeah. check it out, Coasty Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of vlogs. It's uh, 15. This will be the 16th vlog I've really? filmed. Yeah, yeah. 16 vlogs. Wow. All to watch, all on ride POVs and everything. It's the best fun fair in the UK. It I'm really is. First. There we go. Traditional fun <laughs> fair, anyway. Are you here for the day? Uh, I'm gonna get some drone footage as well, but oh, yeah, we're coming back later. There you go. Keep your eyes on that. Coast of crazy. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah. I'm on the telly Have now. Have a good one, man. Cheers. Take care. <laughs> there you go. If you just see me on live Facebook, there. Happy days. But yeah, it's not just about the rides as well. It's all about the vintage things. I've never seen this before, actually. Uh, the uh, the bus. Crazy, hey, you're right, mate. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, hang on, handshake. Yeah, you're doing. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone knows we're here. Yeah, right. it's very uh, very sad day. Very very sad. Yeah, very very, very sad. sad. But hopefully the uh, people turn out for the other fairs the rest of the year. Yeah. Hopefully. I couldn't believe it when he put that message. No, up. no, nobody. Yeah, it. it's the last thing we oh. wanted to hear. But yeah, beautiful day for it. Is yeah. a scammer. Oh, one of the scammels. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna have a walk around, mate. Yeah, nice okay. to see you. <laughs> but yeah, it's all about the uh, the caravans of people giving each other hugs and crying. It's it's so sad. But look at this ground, though. This is the, the best ground that Carters have ever done. Look at the steam yachts. This is amazing. And keep the footage going. Keep you rolling, as they say. Yeah, I'll have a quick walk round. Like I said, I'll be here later with everyone. <laughs> There'll be hundreds of people here. It's a busy fair. Um, I do know there is a a friend coming later on. I'll be uh, happy to see him. Keep that surprise for later. So I think there's four steam engines. There's normally about five. They're absolutely stunning. These things are hundreds of years old. Yeah, that was one there. I think that's the one that just pulled in. You can feel the heat off it. So yeah, these uh, steam engines were actually used to power um, ag agricultural tractors and that sort of thing. Then they were used to uh, to power old-fashioned cinemas. So if you go to uh, a few of the other steam fairs around uh, the country, uh, there's there's quite a few. I mean, look at the look at the chrome work on that. It's absolutely amazing. I can see you can see myself in it. It's like a mirror. Wow. Yeah. So we've done quite a few of the uh, steam fairs and things. So go and check them out on the channel. But yeah, it's it's so sad. There's everyone walking around with cameras and taking pictures, and there's loads of stuff here. It's not. It's just it's a family day out. It's Carter's. It's just beautiful. Look at everything that they've got here. The skid just behind me. I did say it was Joby Carters and daughters. It's not. I, I, I mean, I did actually say it was John Carters and daughters, which it is. It's dedicated to his dad, uh, Jay Carter and daughters Lightning Skid, which has been all repainted. It looks absolutely stunning. All golf flakes, gold leaf. You got the dodgems. Let's get a few pictures. Won't get too many. But yeah, please come and support the uh, the showmen. Uh, they really need it. Yeah, amazing, classic Dodgems. This was one of the first rides that they ever got. Carters, I think it was this. Uh, what did he say? This the 
gallopers and there was something else that he got uh, there was three rides i think they started out with uh, the skid they used to be owned by tom smith uh, i've mentioned that before um yeah smith's t smith's fair that i go to that was owned by tom smith Yeah, there's another steam. There's, yeah, there is four of them. There's, yeah, so there's two over there. There's this one here, and there's this little one over here. And these actually power the rides as well, which is amazing. So yeah, I should have got up a bit earlier this morning. Um, but yeah, they've got this thing where you can walk around and take pictures. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's just sad, isn't it? It's, you know, it's, you, you don't expect it to wake up one morning and see and see a post on Facebook um, by Joby and saying this is the last the last year um, this is obviously not the last fair of the season uh, please go and check them out uh, I will actually put the, the thing down here Joby uh, uh, carterssteamfair.co.uk it's down there go and check the website out um, for the calendar for the rest of the year uh, all the merchandise that they do um, obviously he does a sign writing course as well so yeah uh, joby carter has actually had the fair since uh, 2000 or took over since 2000 when his uh, dad passed away in 2000 so yeah he's owned it and run it for the past 22 years um and everyone here does a really good job um the stall staff the security staff and two of the guys walking there behind me the rides are absolutely stunning, the artworks on them is amazing, so there's anyone watching this vlog now that has a bit of space or a bit of money to house these amazing rides indoors somewhere, because that's where they need to be. Um, like Joby mentioned a, a few times, like all these running boards here and everything after a few years need to be stripped down and repainted because of the use and you know being outside and the elements, I mean now it's a nice beautiful day but one weekend it could be raining and the ground soaking wet everyone gets on the ride and gets everything muddy and dirty i think tom smith used to own the boats as well um louise was telling me um yeah so yeah the, it, it really would benefit them having having it indoors um i mean just you know look at it it's, it's absolutely amazing the ground's so good as well Oh, they've got the uh, the steam yachts going around. I think they're testing. So yeah, if you are coming down, again, make sure you check the website out for deals on your tokens. It's a beautiful steam engine. Absolutely stunning. Get another picture. token box you got the chair plane there that's you know they're all run by steam that's uh, steam gallopers yeah so there is obviously there is a few rides uh, not here uh, still haven't been on the octopus hopefully it does come out <laughs> I've been given a a thumbs up <laughs> yeah it, it, is, it is due to come out this year I'm not sure at what fair or what grounds but yeah you've got all your merchandise just here as well and they take card <laughs> which is good all the pictures yeah. they, I, I do like that victory dive bomber yeah I'm alright to film it yeah got the victory dive bomber picture there that's amazing it's probably my favourite one on there you got the lightning skid down there. And, um, at, octopus, yeah, I still haven't been on the octopus. Oh, I've been no, going to Carters for three years and I've oh, still never been yet. on it. Oh, yeah. Today's the day. Yeah. It's, it's not here, no. I think it might be at the next yeah, next couple of fairs, yeah. It's just absolutely stunning. It really is. A beautiful fair. Great ground. So yeah, we did come a few years ago with the first Pickney's Green I ever visited and um, yeah, they had the ghost train here and the whirl around owned by Richard Caddle of uh, Sutty Show fame um, Them two rides are currently at Dreamland in Margate 
So if you want to get on those, it's one of the best traveling ghost trains in the country, in my opinion. It's so good. Um, go go to Dreamland and check those out. You got the uh, supersonic jets, like I said, the lady in the van. They own that on the Dobbies, which I think are these, or is it the? I think it's these. It's either these or the the thing over there. It's it's one or the other one. Can't remember which one the Dobbies are. So yeah, and everything is now one token. I think they've had to paint over this. <laughs> yeah, that looks like new painting. Where they would have said three or five or six or whatever it is. There she is over there. Oh, look at the caravans. Though. I mean, again, I'm into caravans and motorhomes as well. Like I said, I would. For do. Hey! Do you want to be on the telly? I want to be on the telly. You want to be on the telly? All right, mate. All right, nice to see going? you. Nice to see you. You all right, yeah. mate? Yeah, well, no. Yeah? Sad, isn't it? It's very sad, mate, yeah. Yeah. I think we should all club together and buy it. Yeah, what we you reckon. reckon. <laughs> We've got to spare two and a half million pounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll start a GoFunding page. Yeah, somebody needs to do something. I'm surprised that yeah. the council haven't said, look, we've got this bit of land or... But it all yeah. needs to be indoors, doesn't it, really? Like, yeah. have you ever been to Folly's Farm? Yeah. It's amazing, yeah, it's isn't it? Yeah. And then there's... A, there's and Dingles. Dingle, I've not done yeah. Dingles oh, yet. Dingles is good, yeah. Yeah. And there's another yeah. one somewhere else, apparently, isn't there? Another steam museum, I can't think um, of where. I think I, right. It might be something yeah. like that. Yeah, I can't remember where jo Joby did say on his live yeah. video the other day. But yeah. yeah, I'm sure it is. Are you back later for the rides? Or? Yeah, yeah, waiting for the rides, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll be yeah. back this, this evening. Yeah. So I'll see you again, mate. Nice to see you. Yeah, all right. Wow, well, 17 minute clip. <laughs> it's the longest clip I've ever done. I'd love to go inside the caravans, actually, and have a look. But yeah, there's a lot here. It's such a great setup. Look at the uh, organ as well. So these have come from Cardiff. And you've got another one down there making a noise. But these are great. Alright, such a lovely morning here at Pickney's Green near Maidenhead. Uh, I say Maiden, near Maidenhead, it's like just a couple of miles down the road. But yeah, just actually being inside the, uh, the caravan just there. I'm pointing to it, yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. It's really nice, old vintage 1950s caravan. Um, yeah, it's awesome. We've got Tom here as well. Tom! <laughs> he's there. He's there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is the guy that runs the, uh, the whirl around. Uh, obviously, the, like I said, the whirl around and the ghost train are at Dreamland in Margate, but they're not actually opening until sometime in May, he said. Um, they're doing some filming at Dreamland, so that's why it's not open at the moment. But yeah, this is the Dobbies. That's the toy town, apparently. But yeah, this is the Dobbies that the, that lady owns that runs the, the jets. So yeah, get a bit more footage. And then I'll try and record some sound, some old sound. I don't think I'll have to record off that. Um, and then add that with the drone footage that I'll take up in a minute. Yeah, it's, it's so nice. Oh, I might get a coffee while I'm here, actually. We've got a proper coffee machine there. But yeah, that's it, really. I'll uh, obviously be back later on um, with, a, with a full vlog. I wasn't actually going to do a full-on vlog more. I'm, I'm going, I am going to do a lot of off-ride footage and things like that, sounds and sights of the fair, uh, rather than a traditional vlog that I do. Because uh, I think that's a bit more uh, respectful. So yeah, they're just testing the rides. Got the yacht. See you out, mate. Boy, yeah, not bad. We all ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. <laughs> Ten, minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. That's it. Oh, that smell. Oh man, I love stuff like. I tell you what, this is really sad as well. And not a lot of people know this, but I'm into like old classic scooters, like your Vespas and Lambrettas. I've actually got the Lambretta and a scooter that I own, well, did own, <laughs> on my leg. And two scooters drove past me in London the other day and I love the smell of the two-stroke oil. It's one of my favourite smells ever. It's like people that like petrol and cut, and cut grass. I love two-stroke oil and steam as well. Ah, oh, just look at it. So yeah, this is powering, what's this powering? 
volumes, I think. And you see the cables going off of the ground. But yeah, I'm going to nip off in a minute, go and get my car cleaned. My new car, I've not had it cleaned yet. That's a stunning machine. See his guy, he'll be, sat, he'll be sat on there all day now, powering that up. They've got the bags of coal everywhere, they've got a big tub of water. So, oh God, like this thing's. Just, oh, there's all your coal there actually at the back, in there, on the pallets. So it's not cheap. It's not a cheap do, so there's another cable down there. So they've got to put the, uh, the boards down on the floor to stop people getting tripped over. So it's getting busy already, it's not even open for another 10 minutes. There's a queue of people already over there. Right. Yeah, right. beautiful dog. We'll be bringing Tilly later, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she yeah. loves the fairs. <laughs> I mean, even just this now, walking around and... Oh, yeah, I've got to go over and get the drone up, I think. Enjoyed the uh, the footage there, uh, the drone footage. So I'll obviously keep that in where I finished it off. Uh, put a bit of music in from the uh, the steam yachts that was recorded on my phone. So that's the music that you heard there from the steam yachts. It's busy already. It's only been open um, 40 minutes. I'm now got to go and get my car cleaned, and we'll be back this evening, uh, this afternoon. I think Lisa wants to go and get her car cleaned as well, so that's that's the mission for today. Go and get the cars cleaned, um, and then we'll be back to do um, the rest of the vlog. I'm not sure if we're staying late tonight to um, to do the fireworks because uh, that's only nine o'clock, and obviously we've got the dog. Unless Le I lo take Lisa back home, and then I come back later and film the fireworks. I, I don't know how it's got to work out. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the footage so far. Please, if you are wanting to come and visit um, a car to steam fair, get yourselves out this year. Check the website for the full calendar. It's mainly the south. They do go to Litchfield. I heard that's quite a good ground. Um, oh, they do all sorts of areas. Bath's a nice ground, actually. I think they're back at Reading at the end of the year. Uh, I can't think of the grounds off the top of my head, but it's mainly down in the south. There is a free car park here, but beware, <laughs> it gets very busy. I think it's full already. Um, and the, like I said, the fair's only been open 40 minutes. So just be aware of that. But yeah, I will see you 
later on. Right, yeah, hello, we're back at uh, Pickney's Green. Yeah, so six hours, six hours have just passed. And um, yeah, we're back, it's currently 20 to eight. So just in time to get on a few rides and uh, see the fireworks and it's absolutely rammed here. It really is, you see the people now behind me here and here at the Dodgeons. It's absolutely rammed. Tilly, we've got Tilly with us. <laughs> Dogs on fair. <laughs> right, I have actually called someone because I knew they were coming, because he said he was coming. But I've got to keep my eye out for him. The other one person's probably wearing a purple coat, so keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, the atmosphere. The ride's going around, the steam engines. I've got to try and get as much footage as I can. Not like you haven't seen it before, but it's amazing here now. Totally different to when I was here this morning. More dogs. steam fair I mean it's it's really busy it's just a couple of little sections here and there where there's no one stood around but yeah great to see Sean and Charlotte I'm sure I'll see him again round at the fair but it's just it's ridiculously busy here this place must be making a fortune and then you got to think like you know why is he selling up but it's just down to cost and everything else isn't it really with the brexit and getting staff and just the cost of running the thing, yeah, they might make quite a bit of money tonight, but tomorrow might be quiet, uh, bank holiday might be quiet, people wanting to go away and stuff. So yeah, I, I did have, <laughs> I did, I, I did have 36 of the uh, coins, uh, the tokens, and um, when we was at Reading, they did say, oh, if you bring them in, we could exchange them. So I've now got, I did have 36 tokens, so I've got six of the new ones now and I've got like god knows how many free cards left that I've collected over the years what I would tend to do is get me tokens and just keep the uh, the free cards so I've got quite a lot that should should last me until the end of the season um, as if we go to any other uh, any other fairs might do Bath later in the year and obviously uh, West Wickham which is um, just up the road from where we live but yeah we'll have a have a walk around <laughs> See if there's any rides we can actually go on because there's, there's just massive queues for everything, even the food just here, like the queue like goes all the way back down there. There's a big queue for the ice creams. Not like you want not like you want ice creams at this uh, this time. Where did Lisa go? Oh god, I lost her. I don't know where she's gone. But yeah, you got the old classic ice cream. 
for sure. Uh, where's she gone? I can't see where she's gone. A little train ride. The old, see, it's just rammed, but it's just nice for people standing around talking. She's, oh, she's over there. <laughs> she's over here, but yeah, it's absolutely rammed here. So we've got the yachts. I've got my chest harness for this because you need to hold on. It's crazy here though. Seriously, if you have got nothing to do this weekend, get yourself here. I'll try and get this vlog up as quick as I can. Obviously, I've got a bit to edit. I've got like the drone footage to do as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of dogs here. There's another one down there. and Oh yeah, it's just so small. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she might have to make a, uh, make a move. It's a bit too busy for her. I mean, she does like going to fairs and stuff. But yeah, it's just a lot of people here. <laughs> she likes getting the fuss off people as well. Oh, she likes. Oh, oh she said she gets a little bit shy. Yeah, she does very get shy with people. We've got the yachts going around there as well. Uh, I say the skids back over there, Dodgems and the gallopers over there so like it's not a massive lineup of rides hopefully we get on the octopus when it comes out later in the year um, and tonight it's just about getting some off-ride footage and the uh, the atmosphere obviously the fireworks as well and uh, footage of some nice caravans because these are absolutely stunning i think this is actually joby's mother's caravan i think yeah i think it is i think joby's one's a bit bigger than this one yeah mate <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, alright, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to be stopped as well by people that come. Because obviously I've, I've covered Carter's more than anyone else. Okay, it's just, it's just random. I mean, there is no queue to get on that one. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm going to say the queue for the skid to the entrance to the rides on the other side of the uh, operator's booth and the queue is all the way around here it, seriously it, it gets absolutely rammed in this place god I mean it's just the atmosphere as well when people don't have to go on the rides oh here he is hello you alright Uh, the one where you went there, is it? Kidonas? Kidonas, yeah, good part, Kidonas. Yeah. God, it's round here. Though, it? Yeah. <laughs> Bat and Aggies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Kidonas is alright. You been on anything yet? Or? Uh, what? You been on anything yet? I've been on everything oh, before. Well, oh, yeah, I've been loads of times. It's just, it's just really busy. I don't know what to go on. No, it's bad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, have a, have a walk around. Nice to see you, mate. see the fans of the channel I'm gonna struggle with this vlog today I mean I knew it'd be busy anyway but oh my god it's just ridiculous hello, not... hello you alright? Oh, yeah. nice to see you yeah. busy isn't it? Yeah, busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Sean and Charlotte are gone I can't see them oh they're there on it they're on the dodges the day golden hour absolutely love it yeah obviously if you haven't subscribed to theme park worldwide go and do it you saw a bit of sean in that clip there but yeah this is this is what this is all about the steam spectacular the uh, steam engines here they're absolutely amazing they took some really good pictures of this this morning totally different atmosphere yeah. than anyway love you too <laughs> different uh, atmosphere than it was when you look at that it's just the chrome on there is amazing. Absolutely stunning. And this is powering probably two machines. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'll be getting on anything tonight, really. It's it's really busy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, I'm not bothered. I've been on everything before. Uh, I'll try and get to some of the quieter grounds and get a full ride vlog before it all disappears. Look at this, though. I mean, this is what I'm saying about the time and the upkeep of everything. You've got all the vans and the trucks. All of this here. I don't know which one this is for. Uh, but like the dodgems, like the lightning skid. I mean, they were saying as well, like the manual labour uh, for, for putting rides and te taking them down is um, is incredible. I mean, it is for most fairs, to be honest. But yeah, they've got fireworks on tonight, which are set off over there. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that one. I think I'll try and get on a ride now. Sonic Jets, uh, yeah, the queues for everything is really long, and it's the fireworks in like 20 minutes. So uh, yeah, but hopefully after that, the queues on the rides will die down uh, quite a bit. But yeah, going on the jets, one of my favourite rides here. You can't come here without going on the jets, and then I'll try and do the skid on the uh, the yachts as well, steam yachts. Right, time to send it on the supersonic jets. Yes, like I have mentioned before, uh, Carters don't actually own this set. There they are. Woo, there's my friends. I need to get your name, but I can't remember her name. Terrible. But yeah, you know the score by now. I'll pull the lever between my legs. Ooh, uh, misses. To go back, or to go up and down, forward to go down. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it were misses. The only time you can get some views of the fair is up here. I have said many times before, they need to get out. Whoop. Yeah, it doesn't go as high as it used to. Uh, it used to be like proper vertical last time. Yeah, it does have um, a classic Ferris wheel, and I've said to him many times, they need to get it out, but I don't think it's going to happen now. I mean, this is your best aerial views you're going to get. It's about a good thumbnail, isn't it? Maybe, maybe a different one. Uh, it's such a shame. So hopefully, yeah, uh, the family that own this can go out and do some public fairs or join another gang or I don't, I don't know oh, it's loud when you push it forward but it's so good seeing everyone here it's 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 just so busy the atmosphere is amazing it always is no matter which fair I go to here or uh, some of the other ones the uh, supersonic jets one of my favorite rides here um, I'm gonna just walk around very quickly get some uh, some off-ride shots and some 
atmospheric shots like the little junior octopus here. I really hope they get the giant octopus out. I've never been on it. Beautiful open there. <laughs> you got the game stalls over here as well. I see my friend over here. <laughs> Coaster crazy on YouTube. Coaster crazy. Hey. 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 Good night, good, good night, night, good night. Hey. Good night. There you go. Yeah, loads of classic game stalls. Got the rifle range just here as well, where you knock the sweets off. It's really good. I was saying that with YouTubers, there's only me and Sean here. Um, there's not really a lot of other people that come with these cars. I am pretty privileged to have this pretty local. Yeah, we, we only live up the road. Just on the other side of High Wycombe, so it's dead easy to get here. A couple of kiddie rides here in the middle, coconut shies. Security always doing a great job, <laughs> as always. Coconut shy. Look at the key for, uh, for food here. Oh, there's Sean over there. <laughs> I'll turn it off because I don't want to be in his vlog. But yeah, loads of rides. Great atmosphere, it's amazing. Yeah, so wandering around and every so often I get someone tap me on the shoulder. I get a fan of the channel pop oh, over mate. and say, oh, are you all right? Yeah, mate, mate. Like a kid in a, Absolutely. Kid in a sweet shop here, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah very good. So, brilliant to be here tonight. Yeah, so having a good night. Absolutely cracking. And you're yeah. obviously out to support Carter. Absolutely, yeah. Last time in Picnic's Creek. Yeah, very yeah. sad. Yeah, we thought we'd be here for the last one and all that, Picnic's and all that, giving the support and all that for the rest of the season and all that. A bit emotional, a bit sad that it's been the last one, but with Brian, it's been a great time so far. So yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Are you quite local then? We live uh, near Oxford. Near Oxford? Yeah, it's yeah. just down the yeah. road, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, you well, we'll probably try and get to some of the other grounds this year. Yeah, we'll get to, we won't we'll get to uh, Baze and Soak, I think. Baze and Soak yeah, is a good yeah. ground, uh, Hemel, War maybe. Memorial, and yeah. then you've got um, West Wickham up the road. Yeah, yeah well. so we That's... might get to them if we can and all that, yeah. and see them through the season and all that, so uh, did you, yeah. Did you see Wurzel Gummidge? Yeah, yeah. Did you see yeah, it? Sorry, yeah. It? yeah. 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 Can't see it big span on it on the front. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, brilliant to be here. Really great. No worries. Right, I know it's the fireworks in five minutes. Yeah, we're going up there enjoying you and all that. We'll see nice you later. Nice to see you. Yeah. Right, you're on the telly now. Cheers, mate. Right. I'm trying not to cough then. But yeah, always great to see the fans of the channel. I've been mean, stopped quite a few times actually. If you do see me, come and say hello. I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, I'm going over to find a spot now for the uh, for the uh, for, for the fireworks. Lisa's actually taking Tilly home. It's just too it's just too much for her. It's too busy. Um, so yeah, I'm getting lost. <laughs> But yeah, I'll see you over for the fireworks.
that's it. Wow. Oh my god. It's like a scene from Star Wars. There you go. That was awesome. Wow, how good were those fireworks? Yeah, just, just been trying to Sean and Charlotte for a while. Uh, I've not seen them for for ages. It's nice to see them. I'm I'm very doubtful I'm gonna get on any rides tonight. It's 20 to 10. Lisa's got to come and pick me up in about 10 minutes. Apparently the uh, the queue for the skids about half an hour long. The queue for um, for the dodgems is really busy as well. And there's not really much else I can go on really. I could probably do the uh, the steam uh, steam gallopers. But yeah, the uh, the queue. Oh my god, it's all the way. This is the back of the queue. That's ridiculous. <laughs> this is the back of the queue for the skid. It goes all the way around there. Yeah, not getting on there tonight. It's about an hour, lot. An hour, at least. Yeah, and um, what happens is when it's really busy, they don't allow single riders. I'm not doing the yachts because I've hurt my wrist. Not for told you. But yeah, when I did the skid last. Uh, last Sunday in uh, Reading, as I put my hand out and spun and hit the wire, it jolted right up. And yeah, so they sprained my wrist, but never mind. <laughs> the Dodgeons queue is all the way around there as well. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, beer. Where'd you get a beer from? Over there. I want a beer. Over there, apparently. Yeah, I could probably do this steam uh, steam gallopers. It's just so so busy. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> Sean and Charlotte are over there. I can get on here. Everything's got massive queues. We'll we'll come back to another fair. Obviously, before the end of the season, get a final visit. I think there's a queue line. I'll get on here. Yeah, there's no queue for this. <laughs> oh, oh, here, mate. It's the only thing I can go on that's not got an hour queue. <laughs> Have you seen the size of the queue for the skid? No, it's crazy. It's, yeah, it starts over there and goes all the way around. Crazy. Oh, over? Oh, okay. I'll wait for the next one. Oh, okay. for the next one. <laughs> I'm on a bench! Bench the ride! Yeah, there's no horses available. There's no horses available, so... Uh, so I've had, to wait. I've had to sit on the bench. Look at that. Hey, this is nice actually. <laughs> I can't believe this fair, honest to God. It is so, so busy. It's great to see as well, obviously, there's a lot of people come out supporting it because it's our last time here at Picnic Green. Not like I've already told you before in the vlog, but yeah, it's, it's just so busy. It really is rammed. And I'm gonna have to go in about 10 minutes. But the artwork on here is just stunning. It's not a mark on it, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. The steam engine in the middle. You can smell the steam, obviously. The organ as well. Yeah, so it's another bank holiday weekend. Where are we going? So tomorrow we're actually going to Milky Way down in Devon because we've not been there for quite a while. Uh, and dogs are allowed, so happy days. We're then staying in. We're then staying in a hotel for the night that allow dogs, in a place called Leighton, I think. Uh, there's also a uh, funicular railway there, so we'll go and have a look at that. And then back on the Monday, on the way back home, we're going back to Thunderworld theme park. Oh, fun, traveling fun fair. Uh, run by Darren Matthews and his missus and that's in Bristol so that's what's coming up next what a fair please go out and support 
your local showmen because they really need it. Your times are hard at the moment. With Joby selling up at the end of the year as well. It'd be very unfortunate if all the showmen follow suit and do the same thing because of what's going on. Oh, there's the man himself. There's Joby. There you go. It's a three minute ride. Sorry, I couldn't. <coughs> I couldn't see the time, I had to bring it back a bit. <laughs> there you go. Steam gallopers. Definitely not gallopers. Uh, brilliant ride there on the uh, steam gallopers. First time sat on a bench as well. Right, we're just going to have a quick lap round, get some more atmosphere in, get some more ride footage, because everything's uh, going. In fact, I'm not, because Lisa's following me. <laughs> My ride here is here. All right. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, please come and support your local showmen. They really need it. In fact, I have to go. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that, I had to answer my phone. Yeah, uh, she's coming to pick me up in about five minutes. Well, I'm going to finish the vlog off now. I've probably filmed quite a lot today, including this morning when I came and had a walk around. Uh, a bit of drone footage, got the fireworks, uh, and a couple of rides. But uh, yeah, it's been amazing. The atmosphere here is like nothing you'll ever come across uh, at an English fair. Especially this type, anyway. Yeah, you get, you do get your busy fairs, like your Hyde Park Winter Wonderlands, Nottingham Goose, Hull, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this is just like nothing else with the, the sounds, the lights, the steam. Uh, Joby Carter walking around. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. So please go out and support your local showman. If you've never been to a Carter Steam Fair, again, like I said, I'll put it in the description, the link to their website will be in the description below in the video uh, to find out where they're going next. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Uh, they're here this weekend and then obviously next weekend somewhere else. I think they're doing Malden um, in, in London somewhere and Lichfield and yeah, a lot of places. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one, which should be from the Milky Way in Devon. I'll see you later. Bye for now.